This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. We back on another episode of the main event podcast, baby. And uh, Mike Rispin is right here to my left. And we want to say, first of all, we've been doing this for about a year strong now, Mike. And it's the first episode of the new year, 2021. We bringing it in. And uh, I'm thankful for that, man, because uh, we've been grinding the main event podcast yeah. for a yeah, long time. Have. But we ain't going to get too mushy on them right now. But we we happy to be here for another year. We happy to be celebrating with everybody. Indeed. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube as we continue to bring you nothing but the best at all times in the sport of boxing. Now, Mike, now that we done told everybody Happy New Year, man, let's dive right in to the lecture at hand on the main event podcast. Okay. Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Ryan, man. The right. Zone Network. Yes, sir. He looked like yes, he sir. was worth a few million dollars out yeah, there yeah, over yeah. the weekend, yeah. man. He did, uh, his thing. He did, his did thing. it look like he woke up the lightweight division? If, well, if if a few fighters thought they had it sold up, well, well, it ain't that he woke up the lightweight division. The right. lightweight division has always been exciting. You got uh, too many um, great fighters right there for it to just sound like it was sleep. Now it was always woke up, but he just now arrived to that level where his name is in the hat now. Mm. Where now that, you know, I don't think, this is my opinion, I don't think that one win makes him a shoe in at the top. No, not at all. But I do uh, 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 believe that it makes him a game player. Right. Now, I, I agree with you there because there's one thing i seen in Ryan Garcia. i seen this. And you even said this a lot on the main event podcast. I'm going to remind you now okay, if you don't remember. Right. Come on with it. You like you don't know what a fighter. I think you said it the last time, too, yeah. on the last episode. That's you right. never know what a fighter has until he's been tested, put in a situation That's he right. ain't never been in, That's and right. react That's to right. something that ain't never you happened know to him. How are you going to react when you in trouble? Saturday night. Yeah. Well, Saturday afternoon, because the zone, I don't know why y'all started the car so early. Y'all real disrespectful for that. But we love y'all anyway, because the fight was good. But Ryan Garcia got dropped, man. He got dropped. He got I, dropped. I, I, I think he got dropped. It was a good shot, too. It was a good shot, but my opinion on him getting dropped is because he was careless. You know, he was. Uh, he came out aggressive. He came out, um, uh, for the lack of, he was cocky. You know, he just thought he had, you know, he had the control of the fight. I mean, he did come to the ring you know? and carried on a chariot or yeah, something like that. Yeah, you know, that. he that came boy, cocky. Brian used a cold piece, man. Yeah, he came cocky and, you know, that one, that one, you know, flash knockdown woke him up. Right. And then when he got back up, then it was business as usual. Then he got back to the yeah. game plan. Yeah, I, and I love to see he got tested, man. I, I didn't know. I was like, oh, okay, Ryan, let me see what you got, baby. Yeah, yeah let yeah. me see what you got. And then he got up, man, and he finished the job. But I want to talk about the body blow he delivered that boy to oh drop my him. Because he said something in an interview prior to the fight. Ryan Garcia said this. He said he was going to stop him. He said that uh, every fighter that the boy was in the ring with, could nobody ever stop him. Right. Nobody ever stopped him. Nobody stopped him. Luke he, Campbell. Nobody, nobody ever stopped nobody him. Nobody ever stopped him. But he got in there with the young, with the young Thundercat, young Thunder. Oscar De La Hoya, new protege, so to say. I gotta write that down. I like that one. New I protege, mean, so to say. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I liked it, man. He. Yeah. But you know, on that note, when you said the uh, De La Hoya protege, I, I just want to throw this out there because it's time for us to stop um, putting new labels on these young fighters. Mm -hmm. And let them just fight. Because once you put a label on them, then their head starts to swell. Yeah. And then, you know, you, uh, they won't fight. You know, or I'm a bigger jaw. I'm a bigger name. I'm this, I'm that. And that creates friction sometimes when it comes to negotiation at the table. You know, because, you know, you can put a label on them that they're the next Mayweather, they're the next Delahoy, the next Sugar Ray Leonard, 
all, mm-hmm. all these other names are great names. And now I'm not saying that you should not compare them. But what I'm saying is sometimes yeah. that can be a distraction when nah. it comes to the growth of a fighter because they get too big headed. Nah, man. He's the new gold boy in my book, man. He wears his hair cut like De La Hoya used to. He can even grow a beard. Is De La Hoya the one making him shave his face before the fight to give him that baby face look? No, so, no, no. I mean, so you, you, he, you, you, he's following in the right footsteps. If you gonna make you some money in the sport, if De La Hoya lay out the blueprint for you, boy, you better follow it because he done done. Oh, no doubt. I, that, so no, shave your face. Don't misunderstand <laughs> what I'm saying. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, you know, on a personal note, as a as a promoter, as you know, I mean, as a commentator, as a you know, an analyst or whatnot, people gonna say what they gonna say, right? But when you start believing your own press is when you can have a problem. That's what I'm saying. Certain fighters, you know, they're fine until they start believing that they're more than what they are. Well, now, now, let's go a little further into what a lightweight division because uh, it's a fighter that um, kind of remind, remind me of this situation. It's a few fighters. And, and that's Teofimo Lopez. T.O. Teofimo Lopez is a great fighter. Man, I'm, I was intrigued by him, you know. Right. Then when he catched stepped up the fight, no more tango. You know I had it. Right. Right? Yeah. Had sure. him in the fight. Yeah, you were But yeah, after yeah. he won those belts, okay. it's like some change. It's like, you know, you, you can't be sitting on a on a throne and then you can't defend the throne. Right. Or, or you you want to go back to the little fighters right. and try to tell he said this. He said, Well, they need to fight other fighters uh, um to build their resume. The, man, you got the less you got your wait resume. Minute, he told he told other fighters. That they need to step their game up before he they give my opportunity? Fight. Yes. Let's get the record straight. Tia Fimo, come on, man. You only got 14 fights That's to the my- good, man. 15 maybe, give or take a fight. You just got here, brother. Now, did you beat one of the best decorated amateur fighters there ever was? Yes. For sure. Did you beat a top-rate fighter? For, For sure. sure. Was he a little over the hill? I ain't going to call him old, but he had a lot of miles on him before he went pro. But he was still good, though. He was still there's good. There's no excuse there. I mean, he had the footwork of a ballerina, baby. Yeah, Everybody knows no Lomachenko took, took ballerina whooping. classes. And that's all we're going to say about right, that. Right, right, right. He took a whooping. But Tiafimo still, man, you good. And I want to see you still continue to do great things in the sport. But don't tell nobody, bro. They need to. Come on, man. You got 14 fights, man. You need to fight a couple more fights. Yeah. I mean, but it, but they fall up under something top rank doing right now, Mike. And I, I, I told you this know. before. They know. making all the youngsters fight each other young. I love that. Who, who making them fight them young? No, no. The record-wise. Record-wise. Oh, oh, young okay. as in okay. records. Okay. All young right. records. 13, you know, 14, and 0. Really? Okay. Now, yeah, back I, in the days... Uh, somebody of a Tiafimo and a Lomachenko, them fights don't happen if they don't have 20 or more fights. Listen, the reason why that even came to the table is because Top Rank decided to give Lomachenko a chance that they will give no one else to fight for a belt, the second fight of his career. He gave They gave him something that no one else will ever get. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that is why. But he earned that, though. His amateur career. Listen. He, listen. Three gold medals, I believe? Listen. No, two gold medals. Two? Okay, I'm listen. sorry. What you do as an amateur is very notable. Very notable. But he's not the only one that's had a very notable amateur career. You're right. So that does not, you know, put him in a category where he the only one can get a shot. That is, that's not how that works. Okay. They just gave him a shot that they would, would have never gave nobody else. Because he was so old. You spent most of your years when you could have been a pro as an amateur. Mm. I can't give you extra credit for playing on JV when you should have been on varsity, baby. Come on now. Preach. Now. On the first episode but now, of 2021. But now that we're here, okay. don't get me wrong, he he, he made his, his statement that he should be there. Right. But at the same time, he didn't have that many fights under his belt. To be saying that. Right, so so when he fought, when he fought a team of female, they both records was about the same far as as how many fighters. Right. So now that they both have the less fighters in that weight division, Tia Fimo should just continue to roll over everybody. Should continue to fight the next opponent. Keep on because here's the thing: this is not the only weight class that I believe he's gonna fight at. 
No, no. So your endeavor, go up. They your endeavor young. should be just to clean the weight class up. You got one more belt. Devin Haney got that belt. You know, you should be after Devin Haney. You got the big name. You got uh, 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 Javante Davis still oh, out no. there. Oh, yeah, that's you what do. I meant to say, you too. Got... He called that boy out right after the fight. Yeah, yeah. He... Hold on, let me finish with, with Timo Fimo. Timo Fimo, he is, far as belt-wise, the number one guy. Yeah. You being the number one guy, you shouldn't turn down nobody. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I feel him on that sense, but okay, he need but, more fights to, to be telling people they need more fights. Yeah, 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 but because of those belts, I agree. they're going to yeah. come after yeah, him. Yeah, but because of them belts. They're going to come but, after him. But we all know this is the business of boxing. And when you the top dog, when you at the top, you can look down and pick and choose. I mean, we didn't come up with how the game is played. The rules was created before they started playing this. So they, you sure know, enough, that's just how it goes. But, 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 you know, I'm going to always come as a fan. Right, exactly. And I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, ha, but let's get back on this, man. Ryan okay, Garcia back to Ryan. called out Tank. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that? And do you think he ready? Now, before you okay. answer your question, let me tell you what I think. I think if Tank hit him like Luke hit him, he might not get up. Okay, that's a fair assessment. Now, want to give you mine? Yeah. Oh, 100% on the Main Event Podcast. Yeah, I, Make sure you like and subscribe. I think that Ryan Garcia is good for boxing. And I'm going to tell you why. I agree. Because Ryan Garcia is not running from no smoke. Whether I believe he's ready for that smoke is a whole different question. But he's not running yeah, from right. no smoke. He, he said... Won't. That he wanted to fight Tank before the fight. And Devin Haney was sitting at the fight. Right there. And Why he, he overlooked Devin like that? Like Devin wasn't nobody. He didn't overlook that, Devin. He said, I'm a man of my word. I was calling out Tank, and I'm going to continue to call out Tank. But if that don't happen, then I will fight. Let's make it happen with it's Devin Haney. Yeah. He, he's not running from no smoke. Yeah. But the thing, but the big question is, is he ready for that kind of smoke? I think him and Devin will fight before him and Tank fight. Well, well, it's set up for him and De Devin to fight before him and Tank to fight because right. Devin is a mandatory. Right. But you all know how mandatories go. Mandatories uh, sometimes get overlooked. Don't, don't always mean that you're going to fight him because he's, he's a mandatory. mandatory. Right. So, right. you know, boxing has its own rules uh, <laughs> in the back in the back room. Yeah, they've been rules. playing this game forever. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're, they're cold peace, man, when it comes to maneuvering through uh, what's supposed to happen and what not what's not supposed to happen. But to the lecture at hand, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, who wins that fight if it happens? Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis? If they was a fight tomorrow, I got Tank. And I'm going to tell you why I got Tank. Because Ryan Garcia, he still um, doesn't move his head enough. He, he fight kind of flat-footed, right? And he throws a lot of punches, which is great. That is his defense, but he's going to need more than just throwing punches when he's fighting Tank. Because yeah, you got to remember, Santa Cruz was he, throwing uh, punches. just about to say, he's a similar <laughs> fighter to Leo Santa Cruz. Right. And all Tank did was, you know, Tank took some hits when oh, he yeah, fought Leo. Sure. Yeah. You know, he was getting touched up. Oh, but yeah. Tank began to use his his mind and timed him and took them little hits and timed him just Flat right on. and put him out. I do believe that if Tank was to time him like he timed Leo Santa Cruz, It'd be lights out. I don't think Garcia uh, should fight Tank. I think he should get more developed and more prepared because he's. This is the, this is another reason why he's a big draw. Yeah, for sure. He's a draw, and with him being a draw, then the fight with him and Tank is going to be a mega fight. But he's just not. He's just not ready. I don't think he's. Yeah, but totally I, ready. I mean, I personally think the people who he fight to get ready for Tank, I think he ain't gonna make it past them fights. I don't think it, he can beat that. It all depends. No, Devin, I don't think. I don't think. He, I don't think Garcia beats I don't Devin. Know. I don't I, think I, Garcia the beats. I don't, Devin is too smart. He clever. He slick. Yeah. He got defense. He got offense. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now. The only area that Garcia may have him in is the power area. But when somebody's beating you to the jab or making you, you miss, come what on, can you do. You can't do nothing. There's nothing you can do. I just think that Devin is too smart. So that's what I'm saying. If he need to wait 
to fight Tank. Who is he going to fight? That. He'll be. Devin? I don't think so. Shakur, if it ever happened? I don't think so. Uh, who else at 135? Well, Tiafimo. Well, well, Shakur, right, Shakur, 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 Shakur is at um, the lower weight class. He's at 30. But he's coming up in 35. But, it's only a, another but, year or so. But, and then Shakur's yeah, moving up. But business at hand. He got Miguel uh, Michel. He got uh, um, Jojo Diaz. He, he got he got a number of fights that he can go ahead and and build his continue to build his career. Clear that up when he come up. And then you got you got the, um uh what Gary Russell just moved up to one thirty. Mm-hmm. So he he has some fights that can that can put him in a prime position that when he does move up. Tia Fimo and, and uh, Ryan Garcia. Who you got if they was to ever fight? Tia Fimo. And Ryan Garcia, yeah. Timo. The oh. only the, listen, the the only two two fighters um, that's out there that that's gonna cancel each other out um, because they're both powerful. That's Tia Fimo and Tank Davis. Them two, because think about look think of the whole landscape of the of the lights lightweight division. Every fight is a beatable fight until you start breaking down. Who has what qualities? Mm-hmm. Then the matches who you matching with will determine who you have for what fight. Now I think Tank can it, it, it's a beatable fight with anybody. Anybody in the light like the Same thing with uh, Tia Fimo. It's a beatable fight. Anybody's a, a beatable fight depending on your strategy, how well you adjust, depending on what your game plan is, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So basically, in a nutshell, on the main event podcast. You got Ryan Garcia I ain't getting no further than this. <laughs> no, no, I, no. No, I'm this, talking about this, as in fighting other elite names this, 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 in the division. Not this. other opponents. I'm talking about him and Devin going to eventually fight before him and Tank fight. But him and Tia Fimo might fight. You wrote him off right there. You wrote him off on Devin and you wrote him off on Tank. Because, but he's a draw, though. Because so they should keep him he's safe. He's a draw, and it doesn't take a win for you to be a star. You right. You know what I'm saying? For him, all he got to do is make the fight close. And his fan base is going to continue to grow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. because you got to understand, people, you got... It, Talk to him about the it's, fan It's, base, it's the Mike. belts and it's the draw. Right. Talk what to Ryan, him now. What Ryan has going from him is he has to draw. He's a draw. He is a draw. And when you are draw, then you eventually, if you play your cards right, you're going, You're going to be the one, oh, for my sure. God, that's going to get all the big fights yeah. because everybody wants to make money. Yeah. Don't they want the belts? No, there's nothing wrong with the belt. The belts are good, yeah. but the belts does not make your draw. Timo Fimo? Timo Fimo? You're, not a, you're still not the biggest draw. <clears throat> Though you are the belt holder, you're not the biggest draw. Tank is the biggest draw. Tank is the biggest draw. It's a difference. Tank and Ryan Garcia? Because, look, they both fought in Texas. And they both sold it out to capacity. Yeah. And they, and I mean, they, what they let in there, like 9,000, 10,000. But that, that's capacity at this point because of coronavirus. Yeah. Tank did it and Ryan Garcia yeah. did it. So, 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 so now. you want So to they know, can't fight. They got they to stay. They can fight. Field. They can fight. Not you know so what? soon, though. Listen, watch this. If Ryan and Tank fought, there's no doubt. I, I, I think Ryan is not ready for Tank. But Ryan has the heart. He has the skill to last and make it look good. And one loss on his record is not going to kill him. It could, in farewell, Mike Catapone. Yeah. Look at Mikey Garcia. Yeah. When Mikey Garcia went in there and fought Earl Spence. Yeah. Same thing happened. Yeah. It, it catapulted them to a bigger platform for the both of them. Like Canelo, right? Canelo and who? Canelo. When, when he got that L from Floyd, it didn't exactly. hurt my boy. And it didn't hurt. It Cat- catapulted it helped him. It catapulted him right. to a whole nother no, no, platform. No. And now he's the man, right? Yes. Right. So Thank that, you. He agreed on the main no, no, podcast. I, I never said he wasn't the man. <laughs> no, I believe Camilla is the man, but I, I do believe that Canelo um, could step up and fight better fights that's wanted for him. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, that's, that's all I've ever said is Canelo is dancing around the big fights that mm. everybody is wanting. Oh, but oh, he ain't dancing though, man. He's well, not dancing. Well, he got a strategic plan. And everybody he ain't really, dancing. But now now that I, I can I can see what he's doing. He been the biggest draw since No, listen. No. no. Just because you the biggest draw 
No mean. He backs it up with his fights. He got the belts and the draw. We was just talking about it. <sighs> there we go. That's Canelo, man. There we go. You, you know what it is. You don't want to go back in there. That's Canelo. He's Listen. the truth. Listen, there was better fights. L head on. There was better <laughs> fights for him than Callum Smith. There was better fights out there. I agree. There was Caleb Plant. That was just as easy as that. No. Caleb Plant is a, is a, is a bigger fight. fight. Yeah. But Caleb he Plant he is, ain't being Canelo. Is, he's a bigger, he's a better fighter right. than who, who he fought. Right. But he's not being huh? Canelo. Andrade. He ain't beating Canelo. They are better fights. Right. I agree. That's what I'm saying. But he still my, beats him. But my point is, you're not fighting the better fighters. That's that's my only point. Fight the better fighters. Just fight the better fighters. Even though you're going to beat them anyway, fight the better Just fighters. Just beat them. Like they in the way. Just beat them. That's all you got to do. That's yeah. my only That's my only gripe with him. And other than, the, you know, the, the two times he got popped for steroids. Hey, man. I told you they breed different cows out there. Okay. Man. He likes right. to find it but, for me. But let's get back to the lightweight. Ryan Garcia, you look like uh, you was ready. To take over the world after you won off after that great body blow. It looked like you was about to go to the head and you dropped it right in his lever. Mm-hmm. Put him right there. But he said he muffed for that for chop. Yeah, he did. He yes, kept he on did. the he kept on the overhand, the overhand. Yeah. He and did. then he went right to the right to the gut. Yeah. I like the fight, man. I don't see him beating none of the top dudes. But is he a draw? For sure. But I just, Should they move I, him right to keep the business going? One hundred percent. But he's definitely a good Fight. Oh yeah, yeah, and he can great fight. fight for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, 100%. And like you say, like we say, Styles make fights. He but he ain't fight. the king of the division with no. that fight. No, no, he's not. Who's the king, the king of the lightweight division? King of the lightweight. And division. what makes him the king? King, I, I would say Tank Davis. Okay. And the only reason the why knockout ratio and the draw. Yeah, he has. He has his record is is his knockout record is better than Tia Fee. Knockout ratio because he got more fights. Right. Um, you know, he didn't. He tried to fight. Lomachenko, he tried to fight. I mean, he's not ducking no fight out there. And he's the biggest draw. He got the best fan base. And, you know, right now, I would say him and then Team Team Afimo. Because Team Afimo, uh, like we said before, he's quick, he's powerful. He got all the intangibles um, to be just as great. So it's 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 a real close race. Yeah. But I got to give the tank because he is the bigger draw. And when you're the bigger draw, then you call the shots. Yeah. Well, I mean, what about Santa Cruz? You think Garcia and Santa Cruz? Gar- uh, Santa I think that would be a great go, fight. Good fight. I think that would be a great fight. Because Leah Santa Cruz could go to 35 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think and, oh, he's Santa Cruz 30. ain't out the mix. He lost to back, he, 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 There's still business at 30 he can take care of. Yeah. You know? So, so yeah. You think him and Shakur ever fight at 130? Woo! That would be, man, that would be great. Shakur, that's what I say. Oh, Shakur knocks him out too. But that's why I said if I was Shakur, I would just clean up that lightweight, that that, that junior 30, light, that yeah. 30. yeah, clean it up, Shakur. Yeah, we I, waiting I, on I, you to move up, man. Because so you, you know, can make your name in the sport, baby. When he move up, boom, he gonna already have that resume. And he ain't got to be playing around fighting lower fights. He can go right to the top. Well. Y'all heard it here first, baby, on the main event podcast. We broke down the lightweight division. We broke down who Garcia should fight or need to fight to keep his career on the right path and who he should stay away from right around now, right? Yeah, well, okay. well, he can stay away, but I'm just saying, I, I don't mean to, like, stay away from him, but I'm, I just mean I don't think he's ready, ready enough for me to say he's going to win. But I think he should fight whoever want to fight him. That's that's a big fight because he is a draw. Okay. And he is a draw, baby. You heard it here first, second, and third on the main event podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube because we always going to keep it 100 with you. I'm Tawan Butler. That's Mike Risper. And, Mike, that was real great take today, man, on the lightweight division, man. You did yeah. that, man. Yeah. He's ready, man. We out here. We doing oh, our man. thing, man. Happy New Year, everybody. We're going to continue to do what we do. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out. Peace.